What's up guys, Skidder Rampage here. So today we have some Funko news, including some Funko Pop leaks potentially coming, as well as early ECCC reveals. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so today we have more Funko news and more potential Funko Pop leaks. So these are actually some really fun ones, and these ones actually correlate, correlate Correlate, correlate with the other video the other day that I did with some of the reveals from Pop Holmes on Instagram. So, um, this is going to be fun. We also have some like little interesting surprises as well mixed in. So before we get to the leaks, I'm going to show off all the official Funko Pop reveals that have been uh, revealed lately. So, the first thing I do want to show off though is, um, this one's kind of funny. So, Funko asked Wendy's to roast them for the National Roast Day situation. So, Funko goes, alright, roast me. So this is what Wendy said. <laughs> you can't be a lonely middle-aged man in his basement if you have 200 plastic toys of the things that make you remember when at least your parents loved you still mint in box. <laughs> please, <laughs> then said National Rose Day, please make Funko Wendy. Now, as funny as this is, we could potentially see the Wendy's girl as a Funko Pop, possibly. Like, this honestly though, after this, that was pretty funny. I think Funko might actually do it. All right, they said, please make Funko Wendy. So that means they're okay with it. They might like it. Um, McDonald's already got their pops. So I don't really see an issue with Wendy's getting theirs, Burger King getting theirs, Taco Bell something. It could be like they're making a macaroni craft, uh, macaroni cheese craft box for crying out loud. So I think we can get a Wendy's girl. That'd be totally cool. After this joke, I would totally buy it. That's absolutely hilarious. And... It's cool that Funko kind of, you know, participates in things like that. I think that's really fun, uh, personally. So, uh, that's just something I want to share. I thought it was really funny. Let's move on. Uh, so here we have a look at the three ECCC reveal pops uh, that are all exclusive to Target. Now, we have Yoda there, Charmander, um, which is a diamond collection, as well as Deadpool. So, basically what happened with these guys is that it looks like there is no um, street date on these for some reason. There's no register lock yet. Um, I'm assuming, since they're kind of getting out there, Target most likely will. This is probably a mistake on Target's end or the vendor's end. Not entirely sure what happened with this, but that's how people are actually getting these in hand if you're wondering. Um, and this happens a lot. This actually happens every single year, which is absolutely crazy. Um, you think there'd be better control at a big company like Target, but or the vendor. I really don't know who was exactly doing it, but if you are a Target employee, maybe you can explain the situation down below to me. But very interesting that we you get an already first looks uh, about about eight days ahead <laughs> until uh, ECCC does start, uh, but that's going to be fun. Anyways, moving on guys, we do have some new Funko sodas revealed by Funko. So we have Iron Man here limited to 20,000 pieces. So we have Iron Man in his, uh, I forget which suit version that is, but we also have the Chase version where he is maskless. Kind of like the Chase, makes sense. I think it's kind of cool. They should have done it like metallic personally. I think that would have been cooler, but I do like the Chase. If you guys want to order yours, uh, make sure to grab one. I, I don't think it's selling out anytime soon though. <laughs> But it is a cool one. I do like that Iron Man one. Moving on, guys, we do have the Tick here. This one's limited to 10,000 pieces and does have a metallic chase variant. Kind of like the metallic blue on that one. I think that looks great. I haven't personally seen the show, but pretty cool soda. Uh, we also have Captain Cold here. So this one's limited to 7,500 pieces and has a flock to chase. Now, I think this was cool that they ended up going with the uh, comic book version of Captain Cold and not the CW Flash one uh, that we already have a pop of. Um, a lot of people actually want a Captain Cold, like, DC Universe pop, so maybe we'll probably get one, like a comic book version soon in the future. If they're making a soda, I'm pretty sure they're gonna make a pop, like comic book version. Um, and then the last actual Funko soda that we have to show off, guys, is Devo, and this one's actually limited to 8,000 pieces. Very interesting, they're all just different limited, you know, they're all lower or higher than each other, very interesting. Uh, but it does have a glow-in-the-dark chase. That, that uh, I like the yellow chase, or I like the yellow on that. They should have made the Devo letters glow-in-the-dark too, though. I think that would have been uh, better for the chase. But I think it's still pretty, uh, pretty well glowing chase, if I do say so myself. Um, personally, I don't collect sodas, but I do find a few cool. So that, that's kind of interesting. Um, moving on, guys, we did have a new Dragon Ball Z reveal. Um, and this was Majin Buu Evil Metallic Funko Pop. Funimation Exclusive does have that 2021 sticker on there. This actually went live, uh, I think, two days ago, and it retails for $15, guys. So I think if you're a member, it might be a little cheaper. You might get free shipping. 
something. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Sometimes you get discounts for being a uh, Funimation like subscriber. All right, moving on, guys. We do have a first look at Papa Emeritus. Emeritus, is that how you say it? Number three, Hot Topic exclusive. They made a lot of these, so it's like part of the Ghost Rocks line. I have... I personally never heard of this music, but still kind of interesting, I will say. Uh, I do like the black and gold. I think that looks really neat on that. Uh, so it should be releasing later this month in Hot Topic stores, and uh, it might be going live soon if it has not already yet. Um, another ECCC reveal that I wanted to show you during when I was, uh, was this Funkoverse Darkwing Duck game. So I actually had the Darkwing Duck pop, uh, but yeah, they made a Funkoverse, like Funko game basically variant DLC or whatever you want to call this of it. So very interesting for uh, ECCC reveals. That's going to be uh, interesting um, to be revealed by Funko. Kind of like that one. I, I like the I like the purple look to it. If they made it glow in the dark like that, I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, how the eyes are glowing, that'd be neat. All right, guys. So that is all of our newest, latest Funko Pop reveals. Not too much has been revealed by Funko. I'm assuming they're not going to reveal a, cr a crazy amount of things because with ECCC coming up. That's going to be their next big event or next big reveal event. So stay tuned for that. That should be kind of like uh, more reveals and things like that in a couple days. All right. So now we have our pop. Pop, Funko Pop leak slash rumors uh, prediction slash potentials whatever you want to call it, uh, from Pop Holmes on Instagram. So these are actually some really cool ones. So first up, guys, we do have Star Wars. Uh, so it looks like we have four new ones coming for the retro series. So we have Darth Vader, so they're all exclusive. Darth Vader, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and R2-D2. Why do they just make the same pops over and over again? <laughs> um, anyways, it's supposed to be part of the retro collection series. I don't think they've done any retro series for this one. So I guess it's something new. It's a new line, depending on how they look. I'm sure these will probably be big sellers because people are big fans of Star Wars, regardless if it's just the same characters. But I can't say anything. I collect My Hero Academia. Whoa. 21. Stop cracking, voice. I collect Dragon Ball Z, Spider-Man. Like, I collect so many. There's so many different variants in my line. So don't worry. I'm not, I'm not hating at all, <laughs> uh, but pretty cool for Star Wars fans. Let me know your thoughts on these down below. Do you guys, are you guys excited about the retro series? Does it depend what they look like? Let me know your thoughts. Moving on guys, we do have Pop Pride. Is Pop Pride coming up soon? I don't remember when that was, because I've worked Pop Pride, I think one or two times, I don't remember, but uh, yeah, I don't remember. Is Pop Pride month coming up soon? I don't remember. Someone, uh, can you tell me down below? Um, because last time it was in Georgia. I don't know where it's going to be next because my sister probably wants to go. I don't know. Will there even be a pride because of everything going on? I don't know. That's going to be interesting. Anyways, uh, let's go back to Funko Pops. <laughs> so we have a Pop Pride Stitch exclusive diamond collection variant. Most likely going to be Hot Topic or Box Lunch. That's They pretty much always get it. I don't see this going anywhere else than Box Lunch or Hot Topic. Uh, we also have a regular Pride Stitch. We have a Pride Stormtrooper, Mickey Mouse, Deadpool, Wally, and Tina Belcher from uh, Bob's Burgers, for anybody wondering. Um, so yeah, I think this is going to be a, a fantastic line. The only other pop Pride Pops that we have is... Batman, Spongebob, and Hello Kitty so far, and I do actually have Batman and Spongebob here that I bought for my sisters. Um, so I think these are going to look great. I think out of all of these, I think Deadpool and Stitch are going to be pretty cool. I'm curious what the Stormtrooper is going to look like. That's going to be neat. So uh, stay tuned for those guys. Moving on, guys, we do have a ton of new Masters of the Universe Mo2 coming. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Uh, so we have Snake Man at Arms, uh, which is going to be ex exclusive, potentially. Leech exclusive. She-Ra on Swiftwind Ride. What is that? What is Swiftwind? Um, exclusive Skeletor with Night Stalker. Snake Mountain with Skeletor Town. Oh, okay. Uh, Clamp Champ, Dragster, Evil Lynn, Horde Trooper, Mer another Merman, okay. And a 10-inch Trap Jaw. I thought we already got one of those. No, we must just have a four inch pop or six inch pop. I don't know. I don't collect Motu. I don't really pay attention to the line. I just report the news. But still, very interesting. They're adding so many. Like, literally, I almost last year, I thought they lost this license and then they put out so much more. So they must have saved the license. So good for Funko. Um, it is one of their bigger licenses. Uh, moving on, guys, we do have more WWE. They just released a ton and we haven't even gotten those yet. And now we have more WWE coming. Uh, we have Roman Reigns Wreck uh, Metallic. That's interesting. Uh, it's going to be an exclusive The Rock with Championship Bell. Exclusive Xavier Woods. Okay. Um, exclusive Asuka. Okay. Asuka? Is it Asuka or Asuka? Someone, I don't know. Black and green variant. Uh, Jerry Lawler. Okay. Do we have a Jerry Lawler pop? If I, collect res if I collected wrestling, I'd definitely buy Jerry Lawler. Do we have Michael Cole? 
I don't know. But that's gonna be a metallic. Uh, we have Rey Mysterio. I believe this is a new mold coming, he says. Okay. Maybe a new Rey Mysterio, because all the other ones are very expensive, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then we also have Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins, and Montez Ford. So they're bringing some heat with the, um... They're bringing some new characters as well with the uh, WWE line. I like that. I think that's going to be neat if these uh, in turn out being real. That's going to be fun. Uh, moving on, guys, we do have DC. So I did tell you guys these new Imperial Palace ones were coming. Uh, so we have Imperial Palace, the Flash, reverse color. So reverse Flash, most likely. Um, <laughs> which is going to be an exclusive. Imperial Palace, Green Lantern, Superman, the Flash, and Wonder Woman. I actually really like this line. Um, I actually do have one of them already. I have the Funko Shop exclusive. The, that Chinese variant in um, China is going to be so difficult to get. Oh my lord. That's going to be interesting. So uh, I am excited for this line. I don't know if I want to collect the entire line. Maybe just the basic set. We will see. I don't really have a lot of room. I still have not put up my shelves for Christmas. It's been nearly three months. I need to do it. Um, but yeah, more Imperial Palace. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, moving on, guys, we do have Zack Snyder's Justice League cut uh, pops potentially coming. Uh, so we have at least four commons, one deluxe, two exclusives, which should be two dark sides, one being the deluxe on the throne. Oh, dark, new dark side pops. But that, okay, that might look, that might be pretty cool. Um, the other ones are really expensive now. Wonder Woman in white coat. Hooded Desaad, is that how you say that? Desaad? I don't know. I'm excited about this movie though. I saw the original one. It wasn't terrible, but I think Zack Snyder's gonna do it better this time. Uh, Dark Suit Superman, and then one uh, black and white exclusive and one metallic exclusive. Guys, let me know your thoughts if you're excited about this Zack Snyder Justice League. <sighs> I saw like a little teaser clip of Dark Suit Superman. Okay, Henry, he's not my favorite Superman. But he looked pretty sick in the uh, black suit. He looked pretty sick in the black suit. So I can't wait. I'm excited about this movie. Definitely getting HBO. Um, moving on, guys, we do have Suicide Squad. So in my last well video the other day, um, I was talking about pops of what TSS could mean. I didn't even consider Suicide Squad, but I mean, the T threw me off because most of the time you call it just Suicide Squad, not the Suicide Squad, so it threw me off a little bit. Anyways, you guys give me a lot of flack for that for no reason. I'm like, come on, guys. <laughs> you guys get getting on my case. I was like, I didn't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyways, we have Captain Boomerang as an exclusive Harley Quinn dress exclusive, Bloodsport, Peacemaker, Harley Quinn, Bodysuit, Harley damaged or Damage Dress, Polka Dot Man, Rat Catcher with Sebastian, King Shark, and Rick Flag. King Shark's gonna be so cool as a pop. Hopefully they do that um, right. I think that's gonna be so cool. I only I only knew him from The Flash, like the CW show, that's how I heard of him. But that's gonna be so cool as a pop. Um, but yeah, the last one we actually have, guys, uh, for leaks is... My Hero Academia! So many more coming from the last video that I did. So, we have Sleeping Bag Aizawa, which is going to be exclusive, most likely Hot Topic or GameStop. Um, Overhaul Fused with Shen, or it could be a Box Lunch exclusive. Um, Overhaul Fused with Shen, okay. Infinite Deku, which is going to be a Glow in the Dark exclusive, Aryan Uniform exclusive, 10 inch Infinite Deku as well. Aerie, Sir Night Eye, uh, Ijiro in hero costume, so that's going to be, um, I, I really don't know what they're going to do for Kirishima there. It might be Unbreakable. Um, that's the only thing I can guess, though, honestly. That's really the only thing that they could do, because they've already done him in his hero suit, so we'll see. Infinite Deku with Aerie, uh, Mirio, in hero, Mirio in hero costume. Fun, fun. I thought that one was supposed to be a keychain, though. Maybe it's also a pop. We'll see. Uh, Ryoka, Ryoka. Ryu, Ryuko, Ryuko, why, why can't I say that? In hero costume and Tamaki in hero costume. This is a pretty good way. Honestly, we do have some repeat characters, but this is a pretty solid wave that they're doing here. I, this is a lot of new characters, a lot of new pops as well. I agree with this, like rarely, rarely do I agree with every single pop on a list. They did pretty good with this, if this does turn out to be true. I really like this one. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for our video today. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me out and it's free for you to do. Let me know down below, what are you most excited about out of all these potential leaks? Remember, nothing is confirmed until Funko officially reveals them. Remember that, guys. These are just speculation videos, but I do like sharing them with you because they're just a lot of fun to talk about. And most of the time they do become real. So 
I think some of these have potential and hopefully Funko does make them because it's going to make them a lot of money. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was a fun video. So again, if you did enjoy, please comment down below. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, guys, I do want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. You guys make all kinds of cool things happen on the channel. So again, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your support. And I really do love you guys. I love that you guys choose to support me. I really just... I. I cannot express it enough. Again, thank you so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. Um, I also want to tell you guys to make sure to join the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade, and you can make a ton of friends in there, guys. Really fun group, really safe group, and we have almost 5,000 members, so somebody might have something you're looking for, so make sure to check out that link down below. Lastly, be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. I post a lot over there, and I post all kinds of cool early reveals, or I post pop reviews over on TikTok, so make sure to be following me. But anyways, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.